uh, guys uh, in the live stream or in the same same live stream that uh, we have been discussing about Mara told Rocio to remind him to actually approve the visiting of US students. Hey, and what's I up everybody? It's Irene underscore Japan. My good people, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. And ensure that you have hit that subscribe uh, button. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So in today's video, we are going to analyze the Travel Commando's latest live stream. It talk about it talked about a very sensitive uh, issue, and I was happy that he came out and addressed the whole issue. And my good people, we are also going to address some other things in the video and kindly ensure that uh, you watch the video to the end so that you may get to know what you are going to talk about. So let's jump in to the video. So the travel commando was on a live stream yesterday or he had a live stream yesterday and there is this one topic, this one specific topic that I really loved the fact that he came out and addressed it because it was a big issue by the way, a very big issue because you know it was actually good of him to talk about it because now he is the pioneer of a uh, YouTube in his community and village. And I love the fact that um, it's uh, Chef Majiko who came out first, talked about it, and then now uh, the pioneer came in who is Ayamara, the travel commando who introduced um, the YouTube or rather YouTube to his community and empowered not only people from his community but all over the world. So the issue in that um, live stream that he was trying to address was the fact that um, some few people, some few people that he had empowered and those actually let's just say that the, uh, some of these people you know he empowered them not like some but basically you see all the youtubers in Nyabo Anse and outside Nyabo Anse like us he has empowered us either directly or indirectly so when we talk about uh, Marwa empowering people directly it's when they actually appear in Marwa's video or channel and Marwa asks his audience to subscribe or when Marwa even shares uh, their videos to his audience that is now when Mara empowers someone directly and indirectly means that uh, they are using Marwa's name to grow their channel so there is a difference between that like for instance for me in my first channel that got uh, deleted and not and but uh, in the first channel that got deleted mine now I actually I actually uh, benefited through Marwa indirectly because I was talking about his content and everything and now this channel that I am actually talking now now the one that I'm actually doing this reaction video Marwa supported me directly because now I was in Nyabo Anse. He asked uh, you to subscribe to my channel and I truly appreciate both of you, the Travel Commando and his audience for the support that uh, you always show us. It's actually up. Like for us, it's a big thing, support. So my good people, let's go back to the story. Now, Marwa decided to address this big issue. People using 
comings, comers in uh, Nyabo Anse or in relation to Nyabo Anse. You know, people are coming out genuinely to support uh, YouTubers and then others time it is scamming blah blah and i love the fact that he came out and accepted that yeah there are scammers there are people who are not genuine but now don't generalize it to the whole village because at this point what some people are trying to do or rather when it comes to negative reactors what they are trying to do is to generalize everybody that everyone is a scammer in that village which is not the case guys there are few cases of dishonesty and in fact what he said is that uh scamming even is not uh the word because now scamming is a very big word to be used on that dishonesty dishonest some people that are actually using his name to grow their channels are being dishonest that is what is happening with some few people and he was actually advice, advising uh, his audience that uh, if you want to support someone, if you want to support their family, support them directly. Don't use like um, another person to support this particular person that you want to support. For instance, you know, when we were in Nyabuanse, some people were being uh, sent money to give to other people like other youtubers but now i actually received a lot of cases to do with uh, people being sent money and they did not give out to the right uh, people now that was some few people not everybody you see now even me i'm wondering when uh, negative reactors come out and say that the whole village is coming people like how because these people that are supporting the youtubers they are old enough to know what uh, they are doing it's only that they have not yet differentiated an honest person and a dishonest person and that is why mara came in and actually asked you kindly he kindly requested his audience if actually you want to support someone in anything or in a very big project ask first know the background of this person first so that at the end of the day you don't come out crying and claiming that you are sick or you don't end up becoming sick because you discovered that you are lied to you know it's good to ask background checks and that is why actually me i've been telling you that marwa doesn't associate himself with dishonest people that is a fact and that is what i know like you'll wonder people are so many that are doing youtube in Nyabuanse, but there are this specific group of people that are not uh, associated to Marwa or they don't even visit Villa Medellin they don't even like you've never seen them in his channel you know that is actually that those are some of the reasons that he doesn't want to ruin his channel associating with dishonest people because now you can imagine putting them these dishonest people in their channels and then after two years three years someone comes out crying but marwa you featured him in or her in your channel that actually shows that you are promoting them. You are promoting what you are doing. What will happen? Mara will be ruining his brand. And that is what he's, avoid, he's trying to avoid. Not that actually he doesn't want to support these specific people. But at the same time, these people are growing out of his name. You know, he introduced the village to all of them. It's Mara who actually introduced YouTube to them. And most people use is brand i am marwa in their titles even me i use it but in a very positive way because i treasure um the future having good relationship uh, with people or relationships with people is very important even for anyone's uh, future and that being said um let's now talk about this guy in nairobi nt you know 
mara came out and talked about how he supported him genuinely uh nt was telling him that the family doesn't have food and he's really struggling and he even offered him food without conditions but what is nt doing now nt has become extremely prideful if that is a word is very like he has pride like it, now he's talking as if Marwa is nothing. You can imagine, guys. You know, I'm not trying to say that Marwa is a perfect, perfect, perfect person. But at least, just get to understand that. Now I'm talking to this NT who is actually uh, seeing as if Marwa is a trash now. Just because he can make some money out of talking bad about Marwa. But you must know that doesn't last long. Being negative about someone, it will not last for long. And furthermore, if you even meet with Marwa in Nairobi, there is no way you are going to greet him because, and there is no way you are going to look at him in the eye because you've been, number one, you went to his villa. He didn't come for you. You went to Villa Medellin to ask for support. You didn't even have transport and he had to support you. Out of his willingness, he genuinely supported you. And now you are like, I don't support him. I don't support his team. I don't support blah, blah. The reason why I changed and blah blah oh my and you even come out sarcastically doing this uh, reaction thing about uh, the travel commando you know at the end of the day it's god who will judge all these things not even as human beings but uh, for people like us we will come and tell you one day one time you might need his help just look at things the way they are in this world we depend on one another there is no need of you creating like uh, this friction between you and Marwa and the audience like these people that Marwa introduced you to and Tim Marwa in general. No need of creating frictions or starting frictions, you know. And at the end of the day, if it wasn't for Marwa, none of us would have been here. Suppose Marwa had refused to share his audience out or even introducing you to the world. Suppose, suppose, suppose he was like uh, the type of Diana Baati and all these people, the celebrities in Kenya. You know, they have never introduced anybody in their channels. Guys, the celebrities, I'm not saying that uh, they are bad people, but you see, that kind of people, they try to protect their brand. They don't introduce people, specifically YouTubers, they don't introduce them to their audience. Their audience know only about them. And if you try or if you go to work for them, you are not allowed to have a YouTube channel, but you will be allowed to have tiktok and facebook and maybe maybe instagram but i've not seen most of these workers having instagram because you know instagram again that is where celebrities build their brand because nowadays corporates like are uh, prefer to work with specific people on instagram rather than working um with people on YouTube. That is um, according to my recent uh, research, which I only learned about it uh, yesterday. Like most corporates prefer to go Instagram way than um, the YouTube way. I, I am not there to approve it, but it was just something, it was just an ESA from the veterans in the online um, media. They were actually discussing about all these things. And now, NT, NT, oh my God, you can't even look at things the way they are. Someone accepted, not even someone, Marwa, has actually like uh, decided to empower his community and not only his community even us who, who come from farm who would have done that you see uh 
their land but me I'm, I'm using them as a very good example because they even their gates they look they don't allow people and i'm not trying to say they are but they are not bad people you know i was talking about this person that was actually uh supported by the travel commando and then at the end of the day he is now in nairobi uh lending is it lending getting people out of their offices and then using their these offices to do to talk bad about other people you know and people are not perfect but try to look at the positive sides which has supported so many people you know what uh, all of you are doing the negative uh, reactors is to pick this specific part of a video and just manipulate it turn the other way around give a negative opinion and you know, I'm wondering, is that the way you're going to do for the rest of your life? Wow, that is actually um, really funny. When you went to uh, the travel commando, when you didn't have anything, you were very humble, very humble. But now that you have some few money, some few coins there, you start becoming very pride. You are being very pride. Even to the extent of saying that a D mango is living based on proving a point and that she doesn't afford blah blah blah. Like why? Why Nairobi teacher? We all know that here in Kenya, here in Kenya, D mango and Ayamara are the most paid YouTubers. Actually, you know what I want you to do, NT? Uh, go to a channel called Iconini and watch uh, Trevor's, director Trevor's interview with those crew. You know what he said? The most paid YouTuber in Kenya, in Kenya is Aya Marwa, then followed by the sister, but at the same time he was contemplating between, I think the sister has already surpassed him. So the, the most paid YouTuber in Kenya is Aya Marwa, then followed by D Mwango, you know, that is now according to Director Trevor's interview. And remember, Director Trevor runs a channel, Kenya Online Media, which has 795,000 subscribers. Actually, Kenya Online Media was rebranded from Mungai Eve, you know, they used to actually share 50-50 and then they broke up, they were a couple and now they are on separate uh, ways. Mungai Eve uh, started a channel called Eve Mungai and is doing like uh, stories outside there of people. But you see, I'm just happy that uh, my boss is the most paid YouTuber in my country. I am so happy. So let's talk about D. You know, D is actually living her best now. And that is courtesy of her hard work. But before the hard work, we had the brother who introduced him, whom we always tell thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. I am Maro. So um, D Mongo is outside there inspiring millions of people if not thousands hundreds of thousands of people especially the young people plus the old people just everybody all the people and nt comes out here and says that dimwango is living based on proving a point like seriously if she she just came for a very very short time here in kenya and she actually did a lot of things that if you add all of them it actually sums up to millions of millions of millions you know you can also see the views that uh, she's getting you know that's even the the most basic one that you should be looking at now how does it relate to her proofing uh living her life based on proofing a point she's not proofing a point to anybody you know she's not proofing a point to it's only you who is thinking about her proving a point but in real sense she's making millions of uh kenyan shillings in a month and now what is the point of making money it is for you to spend you know guys marwa has actually inspired a lot of people uh, to start a YouTube channel, to start constructing in the village. If you follow his videos, guys, I know you understand. And, 
You see, even someone like Jamaican grandpa, he didn't have actually an idea of starting a channel. But you know, Mara told him the best way that you can pay you is to just start a YouTube channel. So you can see the impact of Marwa in this world. Inspiration. Inspiration. My good people, today I was watching a video from three years ago where Marwa was actually like a showing us the foundation of Villa Medellin and the Villa Medellin ranch was a forest by then like everywhere was a forest it didn't even look like a home like today you know today it looks like a home and in that video he was actually like uh, supporting Devi a lot to grow his uh, YouTube channel and we thank God that uh, Devi Jr is doing well now courtesy of uh, the brother. So now what I wanted to say is that uh, you see now where Villa Medellin is and uh, where Marwa specifically is like he has grown to a point of the haters are now scared of is growth and development and now they are actually having a lot of negative stuff about him or saying a lot of negative stuff about him and even involving people that are supporting him and his offsprings now um like jamaican uncle someone was calling him the new atm machine of Nyabo Anse and trying to talk so negative about his support blah 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 and I was like you know this man is an old man he is not a young kid who has actually visited Ayamara and his dream was to visit the travel commando because you see now all the dreams that he ever wished to accomplish in his life we were seeing it in I am Mara and I loved the fact that he was really happy about it really happy and you see this kind of people actually you know that's the true meaning of positive energies attract positive energies Mara is a giving person guys have you ever noticed that um the people that are around Mara also are very giving except the few who come with different intentions and they later turn against him betray him you know we leave them alone but if we specifically go to the audience who watch Mara most of the people that are close to him people that watch him daily they are like there are people like Marwa exactly the kindness and talking nice to people and they like sharing you see these people that when you go to the premiere and watch them and uh, uh, when you go to the premiere and see them um, being active in the travel commandos uh, video you see those are the people that are exactly like Marwa you see that I don't know if you've noticed that but for me to be sincere I have noticed that so now um actually there is is it a story in the internet about um congrats dad being sick or getting an accident something like that although I have not followed up on it so much and you know People were asking Marwa about it a lot in um, his live stream and also in the comment section. And some of them were accusing him of uh, hiding the father. But guys, can I, can I kindly ask a question? Is Congrats Dad a YouTuber? Let's start with that first. The answer is a big no. Then... It means that he is someone who likes privacy and that is why he appears once in a while in his children's um, YouTube channels and even the mother's YouTube, not the mother's, the wife's uh, YouTube channel like once in a while, meaning that he is someone who is not interested in online platforms, you know, and if he could have been interested, he would be appearing in them most of the time his passion is in farming and that is why most of you know him as a very hard-working farmer and now this story of him getting an a minor accident has come out no one is talking about it and then now you are accusing marwa of hiding him or not talking about it now what if the dad said that i uh, don't talk about it in the media and he doesn't want to talk about it now 
do you want to force them to talk about the issue? You know, sometimes you must respect people's privacy. If someone doesn't want uh, anything to be talked about him uh, in the media space, in the online media space, let it be. Let us respect that, you know. Let's not force the children to talk about it. Let us not force the wife to talk about it and start uh, bringing out now negativity and division uh, just by using that because they didn't talk about it now they're like uh, you you actually like uh, segregate segregate your parents you only like the mother you don't like the father that you only care about the mother you don't care about the father but the fact is the mother is a youtuber is a she is a public figure and the father is a farmer he doesn't like online spaces or being in online staffs so let us just respect that and we should stop accusing Mara of hiding the father Mara is a 33 year old guy he knows what he's doing and you should why would you actually accuse him as if he's a little child not knowing what he's doing and now let's uh, finish the video by actually adding something about my why Mara uh, chose to respond to this um, group of people who are trying to defame the village. You know the thing is these negative reactors or this group of people they are talking negative about the village, negative about everybody in the village and calling them scammers so that people don't go to support them. And now the thing is if actually the pioneer, the person who started uh, YouTube and inspired and supported other people to start these channels in order to sustain their lives and improve their living conditions, if he keeps quiet about that allegation, then you know sometimes silence means that it's uh, true. So. Him coming out to address the issue was the best thing that actually he has done or he has ever done about it. If he had kept quiet, then some of the audience will be like, oh, they are talking about scamming and no one has come out to address the issue. Then that means it's true. And, you know, that will affect everybody, every, everybody. But I'm glad he came out and that is why he came out and responded about this allegation because you know now what the uh, negative reactors are trying to do is to take this section or this audience to their side so that they can get the same same support because at the end of the day what they always uh, target are the audience to support them and not to support Nyabo Anse and the YouTubers of Nyabo Anse in general so on my part I am really happy that I am Mara came out and addressed the issue as it was and now actually the audience know about it and how people should actually uh, ensure that they differentiate the dishonest and the honest people, how, how the audience uh, should support people which is directly and not through other people because now that normally has a lot of issues. Some people are given money and they don't um, get it to the people that are meant to be receiving the money. Uh, guys, uh, in the live stream, or in the same same live stream that uh, we have been discussing about, Mara told Rocio to remind him to actually approve the visiting of U.S. students. When I talk about U.S., it's, it's uh, the United States of America. There are some students from a certain school in United States of America who want to who want to visit Nyabo Anse village, the famous Nyabo Anse village, the only village in the world with so many vloggers, so many. And with this, guys, it's something very, very powerful until it is recognized by a first world country. For real, Marwa deserves a noble prize for empowering so many people in the world 
actually you can't compare the number of people that Marwa has empowered to those that our leaders have empowered. Even some leaders have given up to 10 years to rule, but they end up empowering only around five people in a span of 10 years. But in a span of seven years for Marwa, you can count up to 500 because we will have to start from when he started his YouTube channel by empowering the family all of them except the father who is not interested in YouTube and then now we have the village and now we have other people now like us who come far away from Nyabo Anse and then we have those people that he always meets while he is on his adventure traveling and guys when these students uh, visit Nyabo Anse it's actually going to bring a very positive impact because number one you see the world will actually get to know more about Nyabo Anse. They will come interact with our people, our YouTubers, and a lot of cultural exchanges and education. They learn a lot of things on this side, and at the same time, uh, on the other side of our people, they will also learn or vice versa. So it's going to be a very important uh, visit. You can imagine being recognized by the first world country, a first world country. Wow. Marwa deserves a Nobel Prize. Who is with me, guys? Because even me, at this point, like, who has ever seen such a kind person? Until the first world country wants to come and do something like a benchmarking, how to support your community as an individual without uh, having any power. Because Mara doesn't have any power. It's just team and the channel and his audience who are very, very kind like him and understanding and willing to support. I can't wait for that moment to come and see what will happen and for real, Marwa's doors are opening slowly by slowly by slowly in the next few years. Marwa will be somebody else, even a brand ambassador of YouTube. Marwa deserves such recognitions because he's a very good ambassador of positivity, changing lives one at a time. And sometimes he changes lives like um, many at a time because in a day he can actually support even three, five people and these people, they end up uh, improving their lives just through YouTube, guys. Who does that? No one, is, I think that's is why even people love him a lot and a lot and a lot. So my good people, we are coming to the end of uh, this video. I hope you really liked it and if it's your first time, consider subscribing to our channel and I will say a very big thank you. So guys, until next time, I just want to say goodbye.